That must be quite a big buzz for you, David Maxwell. Oh. Cheltenham, packed house, well done. Yeah, absolutely amazing. It's as good as it gets. Um, at what point in the race did you think you might win? Well, kind of the top of the hill I had an inkling because I know this horse quite well. Um, I've ridden him since his point-to-point -point days and he gets outpaced um, at this sort of better standard. But he is, he's very, very game and I knew if I could just hold on to the back of the leading group that he may well get there. And uh, I think Keelan Wood shouted to me at the top of the hill, uh, Dave, just keep out there a bit, find a bit of nice ground, we may fill these up yet. And, <laughs> and I thought, right. you know, this, this may well fill up. And uh, yeah, and he, he's, a, he's a tough little battler as well. So I knew if I got him into a head-to-head, -head, he probably wouldn't, you know, he probably wouldn't go down without a fight. It was nice to see Ben Jones come over, give you a big old whack on the back as well and congratulate you as, as well as the horse. Because much of this success, yes, it's about the horse, but it's about <laughs> you and your endeavour as well yeah I mean ben, Ben's great they're a lovely bunch in the weighing room you know there's a um, they're they're very accepting of an idiotic middle-aged man um, in their midst um, against a bunch of 20 something pros but I actually said to Ben on the way out how humiliating it was um, to see Philip take his saddle and he has a big saddle loads of lead I've got a little you know pancake of a thing and he's doing a lighter weight than me but he's 10 one and I'm not do you, where do you feel now then in comparison to, to say a couple of years ago walking into that way? Um, th th honestly, these guys have been as, as accommodating. Maybe I'm a little less nervous, but mm -hmm. they've always been accommodating, professional and, 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 and nice. And so, you know, I, I, think, I think this is one of the great things with the sport is it does, it, it welcomes people in. Um, one last question on, on sort of you and Philip and your relationship and how it works. He said, well, I'll have to talk to Dave about what we do next. Are you quite hands on with regard to where the horses go as well? Or do Absolute, you largely leave it to him? Absolutely no way. I just do as I'm told. Um, I mean, I, I had no intention of coming to Cheltenham on New Year's Day. And he said, oh, we might go to Cheltenham on New Year's Day. And, you know, I, I, I thought, well, surely Philip's not just going for a run. And, you know, the horse's price would suggest that he was just going for a run around. But he's, he's, he's great at placing horses. So, you know, that's what you do in business as well. You choose the right people and you let them get on with the job. Glad you came to Cheltenham now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> David, well done. Thank you so much, too.